Hi, this is Chris and Ladybug Company, and I'm in a fall planting of Brussels sprouts. Plants are still young, almost look like broccoli, but they are Brussels sprout trees or plants. And this is a stage where aphids are going to begin really piling on these plants. Aphids are going to quickly overwhelm these plants unless someone either does lady beetles or some soft or hard insecticide because it's an organic garden I'm in it's gonna either be nothing or lady beetles and at this stage you want to have your lady beetles and especially good for fall winter early spring aphid control and we've waited till it's early in the evening it's moist right now if we wanted to improve the situation or it was really dry you could uh, mist it down or hose it down. All you need to do to get started on your aphid control for broccoli, Brussels sprouts, uh, cabbage, cauliflower, is uh, scatter them out and about. I've already been using this bag here in the garden quite a bit, so I'm kind of down the last 500 or so. But if I was at home, or I was you, I would just close this bag up and then put it in the refrigerator, come back out in anywhere from three to five days and make another release. Yeah, it is a fact of life, the lady beetles usually want to fly on. If the weather's really cool in the 60s, 70s, low 80s, and it's often moist, they'll more than likely stay put. When it gets to the mid 80s and above, they're certainly the want to move on. They'll also move on if there's not a lot of food here. Because we're working on a preventative pest control basis, it's more than likely that a lot of these will move to other portions in this organic garden area. But what will remain is the ladybug eggs that will hatch into ladybug young that will continue to feed on the aphids and other soft-bodied pests that are typical to Brussels sprouts, broccoli, kale, cauliflower, vegetables in that fall, early spring plant family.